To quickly solve proportions, we use a mathematical technique known as cross multiplication. This method is equivalent to multiplying both sides of the equation by a common denominator, which eliminates the fraction and simplifies finding the unknown value. In this video, we'll look at four examples where we apply this method. Let's begin with question A. Here we're expected to solve for x. Now as the name implies, we have to cross multiply, and specifically here, we're multiplying this value with that value, and 170 with that value. So 17 times x makes 17x. And 170 times 3, if we use our calculator, gives 510. And we write this value next to 17x with an equal sign in between. As you can see, by applying cross multiplication, we've converted this proportion that was in fraction form into an equation that's easily solvable. So to solve for x, we divide both sides of the equation by 17. Notice that this 17 and that 17 cancel out. And whatever 510 divided by 17 is, that's our value for x. So the number on our screen divided by 17 gives us an answer of 30. And that's what makes the proportion true. Let's move on to question B. This time our proportion is written in ratio form. So the very first thing that I would advise is to rewrite this so that it looks like a fraction. 100 to y can be written as 100 over y. And similarly, 6 to 5.5 can be written as 6 over 5.5. Let's cross multiply. y times 6 makes 6y. And 5.5 times 100 makes 550. If we divide both sides by 6, we get our value for y. So on our calculator, 550 divided by 6 is equal to 275 over 3. Now, some calculators might output the following, 91.6 repeating, but it's best to keep your final answer in exact form. So we'll write it as 275 over 3. Now you can also find that by reducing this by hand. Notice that both of these numbers are even, so they're both divisible by 2. And if you divide them both by 2, you get 275 over 3. Now we'll start to get a little harder. If we apply cross multiplication to this proportion, we start by multiplying 3 over 5 times 4. 3 over 5 times 4. Follow the arrows. And 1 and 1 third is a mixed fraction. That needs to be made into improper before we continue. So 1 and 1 third, as an improper fraction, is 4 over 3. I found that by taking this value, multiplying it to 1, and whatever you get, you add to it this value. So 3 plus 1 is 4. Okay, so this value is 4 over 3. And we'll now take 4 over 3 and multiply it to x, right? We're cross-multiplying. So 4 over 3 times x. Let's simplify this. 3 over 5 times 4 is equal to 12 over 5. And 4 over 3 times x is the same thing as saying 4x over 3. So we cross-multiply again. 5 times 4x makes 20x. And 3 times 12 makes 36. Dividing both sides by 20 and reducing this fraction down to lowest terms gives us 9 over 5. And that's your answer. As you can see in question D, it is a little more complicated than the previous three. But let's apply the same ideas. This term, that term, and that term need to be made into improper fractions before we can start. So 3 and 1 over 9 is the same thing as 28 over 9. 4 and 5, 6 is the same thing as 29 over 6. And 2 and 1 thirds is the same thing as saying 7 over 3. Now we cross multiply. We'll take that fraction and multiply it to that fraction. And y times 28 over 9. Let's multiply 29 over 6 with 7 over 3 and 28 over 9 with y. We know that will become 28y over 9 anyway, so let's just write it down that way. You can multiply this by hand, or you can use your calculator. Let's go ahead and use our calculator. We have 29 over 6 multiplied to 7 over 3. And we end up with 203 over 18. We have to apply cross multiplication one more time. 18 and 28y, and 9, and 203. 
9 times 203 makes 1827. And 18 times 28 makes 504. Don't forget to write the Y next to 504. If we divide both sides now by 504, we can let our calculator do the rest. So we have Y is equal to 1827 divided by 504, and our final answer is 29 over 8. I hope you now know how to apply cross-multiplication. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I'll gladly give you a hand. Thanks for watching.